Welcome back to India This Week. On Friday, India successfully test-fired its indigenously developed nuclear-capable surface-to-surface Agni-1 missile. The Strategic Force Command of the Army tested the missile that has a strike target of up to 700 kilometers. Test Range Director MVKV Prasad said the test was successful and it was a textbook launch. The Agni-1 missile, already inducted to the Indian Army, has a specialized navigation system with a high degree of accuracy and precision. It weighs 12 tons and can carry payloads of up to 1,000 kilograms. The missile was launched from the Road Mobile Launcher System in Odisha and reached a target point in the Bay of Bengal. It was tracked by radar and telemetry stations located along the coastline. The government has rejected Bharatiya Janata Party's demand for special protection group security for its prime ministerial candidate, Narendra Modi. Minister of State for Home said the current security is adequate for Modi and BJP is trying to rake up the security issue to score political mileage. There were reports that Modi is in the hit list of the Indian Mujahideen, a terrorist outfit. The militants hold Modi responsible for the riots in Gujarat in 2002 that killed more than 1,000 people, most of them Muslims. In another development, senior Obama administration officials said the U.S. would be willing to work with Narendra Modi if the parties voted to power in the next general elections. Here have said asserting that the enduring bilateral relationship is to continue irrespective of the poll results. Defense Minister A.K. Anthony said the Defense Research and Development Organization should mainly concentrate on high-end research, particularly in critical and strategic areas. Speaking at a meeting of the consultative committee, he said, DRDO should also invest more time and resources in fundamental research, lay more emphasis on major mission mode programs for armed forces, and pull together resources and talent available in academic and other research and development institutions. Complimenting the DRDO for its several successes, Anthony said the organization has contributed to national defense preparedness and deterrence capability. India's most celebrated chef and popular cookbook author, Tarla Dalal, died at the age of 77. She has penned 100-plus cookbooks, including The Pleasures of Vegetarian Cooking. More than 3 million copies of her cookbooks were sold out. The Recipe Queen has owned one of India's most detailed food websites and also produced a bi-monthly magazine, Cooking and More. Her cookery show, Cook It Up with Tarla Dalal, has been a hit in Southeast Asia, India, the Gulf, the UK and USA. She started her career as a humble home chef in 1966. In 2007, she was bestowed a Padma Shri Award. The Master Blaster Sachin Tendulkar's innings was cut short by a dubious LBW decision by the umpire at his 199th and penultimate test in Kolkata. He was dismissed for 10 in the first session of the day 2 of the first test. This was Sachin's last test in Kolkata. He will be playing his final and 200th test cricket at his home ground in Mumbai on the 14th against the West Indies. The 40-year-old Indian batsman has scored 15,837 runs from 198 tests and holds a world record. During the 24-year-long career, Sachin has played the most number of tests and record for most tests and one-day international runs scored as well as most tests and one-day international centuries. Before we close, the highlights of the week once again. Indian Space Research Organization successfully launched the Mars mission and did the first orbit raising. The 12th edition of the Pravasi Bharatiya Divas Convention will be held in New Delhi from January 7th to 9th in 2014. Commerce and Industry Minister Anand Sharma strongly criticizes global investment bank Goldman Sachs as it suggested a victory for BJP-led NDA in the next general elections. Indian Bangladesh begins closing retreat ceremony at its border. British Prince Charles is an official visit to India. President Pranab Mukherjee says India's place in the changing world order is extremely relevant. Director Ram Gobal Varma's underworld drama film Satya 2 hit the silver screens. India successfully test fires indigenously developed nuclear capable surface to surface Agni 1 missile on Friday. 
government rejects BJP's demand for SPG protection for its star election campaigner Narendra Modi. Defense Minister A.K. Anthony asked DRD2O to concentrate on high-end research on strategic areas. India's most celebrated chef and popular cookbook author, Tarla Dalal, dies. Sachin Tendulkar's innings was cut short by a dubious LBW decision by the umpire at his penultimate test in Kolkata. That's all for this week. I am Lisa Totamari signing off. Wish you wonderful days ahead. See you next week, this time.